Welcome back friends. So today's adventure is taking me from Meldrum Reservoir car park, over Meldrum Reservoir behind me, over Longstone Hill, up to Yes Tour, and then across to High Wheel Hayes. So we're looking at two of the highest peaks south of the Peak District, which is going to be an, uh, quite a feat for me, I think. My legs aren't feeling too fantastic today, so I might just stop at Yes Tour, might not go on to High Wheel Hayes today, we'll see. Um, I wasn't going to be bringing Dave with me today because he's had an ear infection this last week, poor little bugger, but took him to the vets yesterday, 100 quid bill later, and he seems to be on the mend, so that's fantastic. So, off we go. There he is. Obviously the water is a bit more enjoyable to look at than the lack of it on the other side. So I fancy something a little bit more of an adventure, somewhere different, somewhere that's not the Merivale area. And I've seen a couple of videos where people have been around uh, the Meldon Reservoir area, but I've not seen any videos of anybody traveling to Yes Tour or High Wheel Hayes. Now Yes Tour and High Wheel Hayes are the two highest points in England south of the Peak District apparently correct me if I'm wrong um, 600 and I believe 619 feet for yes tour sorry meters 619 meters for yes tour 621 meters high for high wheel haze and perhaps stupidly I thought that'd be a good idea well actually no, that's not entirely true uh, my original plan, my original, original plan, no, my second plan <laughs> was just to go to Yes Tour. Um, but I was speaking to another YouTuber, Ryan in the Wild, over Instagram last night, and he said, Well, since you're going up there, why don't you just pop across to High Wheel Haze? You might as well do them both. And I was like, All right. Yeah, why not? I think that's my first big mistake. We'll see. So yeah, cheers Ryan. Uh, if I die of exhaustion today, my legs give out and they say, now we've had enough. I fully blame you, my friend. The weather today isn't terrible. We've got grey sky up above. We do have rain forecast later. Coming in sort of like eight o'clock with a bit drizzle, a bit heavier around 10. And around one o'clock in the morning, hail. Because, you know, that sounds fantastic. Whoa, that's something, isn't it? It's not as spectacular, perhaps, as Burrator Reservoir, but it does have the great big viaduct thing. Dam, sorry. It does have the great big dam. That's quite a pretty thing. So yeah, off we go. I'll bring you back in a little while. I need to start moving a little bit rather than recording. There you go, Dean. Life on the rocks. There you go, Justin Hikes. Dave's butthole. So 
So this first climb that I'm doing at the moment from Meldon Reservoir towards Yestor is Longstone Hill behind me. I already feel like I'm half bloody dead. I'm drinking this, oh, I'm drinking this water from my bladder, it's a knee bladder. I don't think I've cleaned it properly. It tastes like the second hand water from a sextile enema. It's bloody minging. So it's not particularly refreshing, but yeah, well, it is what it is. I've got a bottle of water in my pack as well, so I might have to start hitting that one in a bit. I'm already knackered. Bloody crap I am. I'm the worst hiker there is. It's actually the part of being out on the moors that I don't like. I love the camping, I love the sights, I love the views, I love the tours, I love the, the reservoirs and the dams and the railway tracks and the sheep. I don't love the sheep. I, you know, there's cows and horses and tiny little foals and ponies and it's all beautiful. I love bringing Dave out for a walk, but I hate the climbing. Someone like me, crappy legs, should not be climbing at all. That's my thoughts. Looks like someone's in trouble. I hope I won't be needing that air ambulance later. So behind me, you can see Yes Tour. Behind that is High Wheel Haze. I've got quite a lot of ground to cover. I'd love to say that I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like absolute shit. But it's lovely weather. It's not too sunny, it's not too wet, it's not too windy, it's just, just about right for this, to be honest. Just flip it around. So there we go, there's Yes Tour. I think that's, uh, is it West Tour? West Hill Tour, something like that. West Mill Tour, I believe that is. So we're gonna carry on up this trail for a little bit. Go, buddy, go. Go, meow. One of the things I've noticed so far that is different to the Merivale area where I usually go is that, is that it seems to be a lot less rocky around here, which is nice. There's a lot less boulders and so forth to climb over so far but looking out over there I don't know if you can see but it looks like it's quite possibly going to get a bit rockier as I go on we'll be alright let's break my fucking ankle might need that air ambulance then charity donators money being spent well on me, the idiot. Here we are, I'm about to start my ascent towards Yes Tour. Just come off of a, a long stone hill track. So off we go. Uh, I've checked the firing times. No firing scheduled for today, which is great because I don't want to get shot. That would really hurt and make my walk home a lot harder. So I'm just having a full on panic. It seems that my water bladder has got an ever such a slight leak and my pack is getting a bit wet. I don't know what to do. I've got behind me a lot of mist coming in as well mist and fog I don't know what to do about my water situation I've only bought one bottle with me because I had two litres in my water bladder I've now got closer to one and a half litres in my water bladder and potentially quite a lot of wet gear I think I'm going to have to hang the water bladder off the outside of my bag and really hope for the best. Been really looking forward to this camp. I don't want to 
don't want to have to call it off. I'm going to wait out the mist, I think. I'm going to carry on up to Yestor. Wait out the mist. Oh, fucking hell, now it's raining. Wait out the rain. Wait out the mist. And then check my gear in a bit. You know, I just don't get it. Dartmoor weather. It's a force unto itself. I mean, around me, look, I've got a bit of blue up there. A bit of blue above me there. It's just been absolutely pissing it down. And now it's freaking stunning. I've got to get my jacket off, get my rain cover off my backpack. How bloody handsome is it? My goodness. Well, what isn't handsome is that I've still got all that to climb. I'm at the point now in my journey that I always get to on every one of these hikes and wild camps on Dartmoor. And that is the point where I think to myself, I don't want to do it anymore. No it's too far, it's too high. Oh, we'll get there. Well, I'm almost at the top of Yes Tour. It's been a long jaunt because I keep having to stop take my jacket off, walk a little bit, be exhausted, check my water bladder leaking, get my pack back on, stop, get my jacket out of my pack, get my jacket back on with the rain and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's been a bit of a jaunt so far. I, I'll admit I've almost turned around twice so far. I've had enough of climbing and, and the constantly changing weather just over here somewhere in the clouds i think that is high will hay high, high wallaby whatever it's called that other one that's bigger so i'm going to carry on i'm going to get to the top of yes tour hopefully it'll stay dry i can't be bothered taking my jacket off again so i'm just going to sweat it out We'll have a rest, possibly have a coffee, and then head on to High Wilhay, High Wallaby, High Willy, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm going to go over to the other one anyway. Here we go. My very, very first trick point. Oh. oh. There we go, we've done it. We got here in the end. By God, is it windy. Have a look at this view. You can see the clouds moving so fast. That's how bloody windy it is up here. But by God, what a view. So in the moment, since I've just shown you the, the cloud moving in really quickly, sorry about the wind on my bag, but the world's disappeared. Just a couple of moments. It's all gone. I'm expecting Stephen King's Langoliers to come chomping away now to reset the day. Oh man. Proper glad to be up here, but I ain't camping here. Not being this windy. So I'm going to have a rest. I was going to make a cup of it, I think it's too windy. And then I'm going to make my way over to High Wilhay. Hey, oh, I'm well happy. So that was Yes Tour. I'd love to say that there were some absolutely stunning views up there, but I couldn't see fuck all. Everything's just 
shrouded in cloud and every time I thought oh look we've got a bit of blue sky a bit of clarity I'll take some photos some more clouds just randomly rolled in it's amazing just how quickly they move up here and it was so windy so bloody windy Dave liked it but he seemed a little bit concerned that he was going to fall off <laughs> poor little bugger oh so I would say there's yes tour you see what I mean you can't see shit so we're gonna carry on that way I'm gonna spin the camera around there we go we're following the trail we're gonna go on to high wheel hay from here luckily it's a nice marked out trail with the rocks which is great because it's easy to lose yourself up here I suppose don't want to do that certainly don't want to lose Dave either in fact I'm going to turn on his fog lights Dave come here come here boy oh let's have a look oh it's not very bright leave it on anyway yeah so I'll turn on his fog light just in case be a bit easier to track him Here we are, whatever the heck that is. Can't find it on the map, I ain't got a clue. So if you do know, please let me know in the comments. So, yes tour is done, high wheel haze is done, whatever this thing is behind me is done. Um, I'm gonna head west from here, I'm gonna head towards Blackator Cops. Um, have a little look at the Oakman River um, hopefully it's not all shrouded in fog like it is up here I'm hoping that I can find somewhere to camp down there um, it's a lot lower ground and a lot less danger of getting struck by lightning I don't much fancy that that, that would really ruin my night um, so yeah that's where we're off to now I'm kind of a bit lost really. I'd plan to climb Yes Tour. That that's that's where I originally wanted to go. Ryan convinced me, nah mate, go on over to High Wheel Haze as well. So I've done that and, and now I'm kind of a bit lost as to to what to do, where to go now. One sec, Dave's uh, Dave's found some sheeps behind me. Dave Leave it. Good boy. It's amazing that you can find anything up here in this fog. I've lost a little bit more water from my water bladder. Luckily though, it's running down the outside of my pack rather than the inside. I'm worried that the constant soaking is gonna cause the, the contents of my pack to get wet. But like I said earlier, everything is in a, um, a dry sack, that's the word. So we should be good. I found a view. The clouds have just moved out of the way a little bit. 
and I can see a view. And then look at this behind me. There's some things. I'm gonna go and have a look at the things. I don't know what the things are, but I'm gonna go look at them. But you see the river down there. I think that's the Aikman River. Coming down through the valley. I think that's a nature reserve. I think, I just said I'm gonna to go to Blackator Cops. I think Blackator Cops is actually a nature reserve, so I won't be able to camp down there. So I might head towards Black Tor, which is in I don't know, this direction. Let's go and have a look at this here. Man, I never even knew all that was there. It's come from up there somewhere. I, I don't even recognise any of that because it's all just been shrouded in cloud and fog and crap. Oh my goodness. See this view that's opening up in front of me. Oh wow. Holy wow. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is amazing. I'm sorry about the wind. I don't think this mic's going to take a massive lot of difference to the quality of the audio, but my God, look at this. I found Dartmoor. I lost it, but now I found it. I believe that if I follow the river, not only will I find somewhere halfway decent to, to camp up for the night, but also it means that I won't need to worry so much about water so I'll be able to get rid of this two litre or one and a half litre or whatever it is I got left water bladder on my back get rid of the water out of that get rid of the weight associated with it but I should also be able to easily find my way back to Meldon Reservoir because that's obviously where the water's going and uh, it makes my hike back in the morning that much easier. I think if I'm right, that's Black Tor over there. I don't know, I sort of got excited by the view and stopped looking at my map. So I'm not 100% certain where I am, but I'm making myself making my way down towards the Aitman River and uh, we'll see what's going on when I get there. This is the thing about when I come out, I always have a plan for where I want to go but I always end up deviating. I've already gone and changed my bloody mind again, ain't I? Um, the river is a bit further down than I thought and I want to check out Black Tor. So I've decided to head on over to Black Tor, see what it's like up there for camping. Um, I don't think I'm actually allowed to camp next to the river. So I figured it's actually a bit pointless going down there, given how much of a climb down I've had so far. And I know that if I can't, camp down there being the kind of person that does not like doing the illegals um, I would just have to climb back up anyway so I'm going to head over to Black Tor because that's where I intended to go I can still follow the river because it's still just down over here so I can still follow it and if I do need to get water later on then 
it'll be a bit of a trek but I can do it without my pack on once I've pitched up oh it's a bit a bit soggy a bit soggy here just want to get wet feet oh my goodness this is, oh bloody hell seriously this ground is really minging uh, it's coming from up that way so it's probably full of sheep's piss all the way down to the river we have to be careful where I step so I'm going to stop so back again I'm on the final approach to Black Tor I've had to climb back all the way up to the top of the hill here and then come on down this way because the ground is really super boggy and a lot of places back there there's rivers well not rivers but surface water we'll say running down off the hill towards the river and it's really really hard going I've got a wet right foot at the moment oh there's more of it here bloody hell man feels like every time I, I move four ten steps I've got to walk back at least five um, so yeah black tour right in front of us how's that so I've done I, I, I know I keep saying it but I've done yes tour high wheel haze and now I'm at black tour the question is will I make black tour my home for the night or not I don't like the look of the grass up here that reedy stuff which normally signifies the ground is really wet but it is quite flat even if it is full of cow muck absolutely everywhere is this the equivalent of any dog shit alley but for cows somebody set fire to a stick up the top there dickheads if you're the dickhead that did that and you're watching this and you're a dickhead oh we got some cows moo oh bloody hell they all looked oh he's a bit angry looking one up front there big boy with his horns yeah he ain't trusting me oh there's ponies down there as well the ponies horses shetland ponies maybe Oh. well not really liking this for a place to camp bit windy for my liking a bit exposed if it was a nice day I'd risk it there's a nice little spot here that looks like it would make for a good camp apart from all the cow muck Yeah, this, this would be a good place for a camp, but there's a lot of cow muck. So I'm guessing a lot of wildlife will be moving through here through the day and night. So I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to keep walking. And uh, I'm going to head. I'm going to head a little bit more north now. Still following the Oakman River down there oh these ponies are handsome look at them beautiful little buggers that see so yeah, I'm gonna carry on a little more like I said I've got three hours of well, I say daylight three hours of light left behind me the clouds ain't looking too fantastic and in front of me there's a cow taking a piss you know that's the third one I've seen doing that it's like they see and they're always the black ones as well I don't know if that means anything but I've seen brown cows up here I've seen black cows I've seen funny shades of grey cows and it's only been I've had three black cows just raising their tails and taking a piss as soon as I start walking in their general direction absolute knobheads 
Well, that's black door done properly. Ah, Dave's up there somewhere. Dave, Davey dog. Oh, he was. Oh, here he comes. Yeah. Anyway, so Dave's off being a dickhead. I'm off being a dickhead. Black tour's done. Nowhere I feel that I want to camp here. And just off here is some more cows. Just now another one of them's taking a piss. Yes, it was another black one. I don't know. The black cows don't like me. So I'm going off now towards Longstone Hill and I'm looking to pitch on the, what will it be? It'll be the east side of Longstone Hill because the wind is blowing in from the west. It's quite a ferocious wind. Oh, got my earphones in, my AirPods. It's probably not the best idea really because I think it makes you lose your equilibrium a bit. It makes it easier for you to topple off balance and less aware of your surroundings. But I'm constantly looking around at my surroundings, so that's not so bad. But I'm having a proper party in my ears right now. It's great. I'm listening to, um, what's it called? Icky, Icky Thump by the White Stripes. Why well, I didn't remember that without looking at my phone, I don't know, I love the song. Oh, way too loud. But yeah, gotta rock on. Get watched by these cows, they don't like me. They're probably thinking to themselves, oh look, it's another one of these hiking knobheads walking along talking to a camera. They're probably sick of seeing it. Oh. But you know what, I'm actually quite surprised. I'm feeling really good from this, this hike today. Oh, we've got a bit of, oh, what we got here? A little bit of a stream to cross, that's all right. It's a big lump of granite here. Dave, mate, you don't want to go in there. It looks a bit, oh, I don't know. Will he go in? Go on then, mate. Do you want to go in? Go on. No, don't, no, come on. It's not warm enough, really. What did I just see there? Look at this, this slug. You see him? Size of him. He's huge. I'm not into fat shaming or nothing, but he needs to go on a bloody diet. Oh, it looks like we've got a few pools of water coming up. I saw a um, decapitated sheep's head back along as well. Took a photo. I don't know if I'll put it in the video though. It might be a bit distasteful. I probably will put it in the video. I shouldn't, but I probably will. I'm happy. I'm in a happy place right now. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, it's soggy, soggy ground. Ugh. Hate soggy ground. This way, buddy, come on. Good lad. Enough to care about the things that you've seen. Oh, it's a weak wine shame. Here comes the rain. Ooh. 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 Water. Ooh. So we come pretty much full circle. Because up behind me, up there, is Yes Tour. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna camp. I honestly don't have a foggiest. I'm just enjoying my music too much and the walk. And I found a trail now. So that makes a hell of a difference. 
I can't find somewhere to camp, man. Dave, where are we going to camp? Where are we going, Matt? Dave? Dave, where are we going to camp? Hey? Where should we go? You don't know, do you? You don't care. You probably just want to go back to the car at this point. Oh, man. I love this place. Absolutely love it. I love it even more now I can see stuff. I almost want to go back up to Yes Tour so I can have a little look at the view. By the time I get up there, you know all the fogs are going to come in. It'll be shite again. Dave, 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 come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. What? Careful. What? Give me <laughs> Oh man. Give me <laughs> oh. oh, you're having so much fun, aren't you, mate? Such a change from how you've been this week that you're poor here. Oh. Best 100 quid spent. So I found myself a spot to pitch up. Um, it's not on top of a tour, it's not really where I hope to be. But once I've cleared all the sheep and cow and horse shit, muck, <laughs> then it should be good. So this is where I am. I'm gonna pitch my tent roughly in the middle there, where my bag is. And I'm surrounded in all directions by ferns, which is quite pretty really. A bit abnormal for me, but the views I get from here are pretty, pretty good. So up there is Yes Tour and I'm not sure what tour that is. I think it's Shellstone. Probably wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me. I've got fields off in front of me with sheeps in it. And the sun sets roughly in that direction. I need to get pitched up quite quickly because rain is supposed to be coming in and you can see the grey sky behind me, it's looking pretty crappy. And also, you probably can't see it so well from here, but I can see the haziness of the rain falling in that direction, sweeping across towards where the sun is shining down on the horizon. So I need to get pitched up pretty darn quick now. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get pitched up and I'll bring it back when I'm done. Well, the tent is pitched and uh, I crawled inside to bring all my gear in, set Dave up with his bed so he can have a little bit of a kip. <laughs> He's been running around like a blue ass fly. He's been loving it, isn't ya? Hey? Say hi to the world, Dave. Over here, look. Say hi. No, okay. Don't. Um, yeah, I wanted to get everything set up inside before I started recording again but when I crawled in I realised how tired I am <laughs> so I've just laid down for 20 minutes and I'm slowly draining off my water bladder into my gobble <sighs> caught up on Instagram So yeah, I'm just chilling out for a minute. So I'm going to give it another five, probably half an hour, and then unpack my gear, get Dave fed, because he's looking at me like I'm some sort of torturer trying to starve him to death. And then um, get my own food on, get settled and relax. I really am. 
you know what I say in all my videos that I'm exhausted and yeah I am I am I always am when I say it I genuinely mean it um, hiking for me does not in any way come natural and it really bloody hurts like I can't even begin to describe just how much pain I'm in right now my tablets from this morning have worn off so my legs my hips my groin my arse my lower back my ankles toes fingers elbows basically everywhere I've got a joint is is in pain right now um, you can see my my wedding ring my finger it's a bit swollen that's what my whole body's like right now if I take my socks off I have a a ring around where my, my ankles are swollen around my socks and they're very loose fitting socks I'm just uh, I, I swell up like crazy and it causes me so much pain so when I say I'm exhausted I truly mean it now I've looked at my watch a little while ago to see how far I've walked today and I've done I've done 21,213 steps covering 15.88 kilometers and aside from a couple of very very short breaks five minutes here and there sit down eat a double decker or a crunchy i've not really stopped since i got here since i arrived at, at melden reservoir car park and for, for me at the very least that is a massive massive achievement that's the furthest i've been able to continuously walk for probably 18 months or more so although i'm tired and exhausted the fact that i've climbed up yes tour and higher wheel haze and black tour and then i've come full circle i've, I've come over longstone hill and i found a little place not too far away from there to, to pitch uh, the fact that I've done all of that and covered you know, 16 kilometres, I'm feeling quite proud of myself, to be honest. I feel like I give myself a pat on the back. So, yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm really looking forward to getting some food inside me. I'm really looking forward to just lying in the tent and chilling out. I've got a lot of rain and wind coming in later, so I'm probably going to bed down early as well. Hopefully sleep through as much of it as possible. And then in the morning, because I've parked so near Meldon Reservoir Car Park, it's probably only going to take me about half an hour to an hour to walk back, and it's all downhill. So that's really good. I won't have too far to go in the morning. So my view outside, let me spin you around from here isn't really much I don't mind I know we all go out for the views but to be quite honest with you I'm happy just with the, the walk that I've done I'm really happy with the walk that I've done so we're all pitched everything's unpacked my bed's inflated, my sleeping bag's out. Feeling pretty good. Dave's uh, chowing down on a pig's ear. <laughs> he loves those things. And the the rain is just starting to come in. It's a bit drizzle at the moment. Not to worry about. So in a minute, I'm going to get my dinner on. Got a dehydrated summit to eat meal tonight chicken tikka with rice i think might not be <laughs> who knows um so yeah in a minute i'm gonna get into the tent where it's a bit warmer out of the wind watch dave eat his pigs ear and cook my own that's sounded wrong sounds like i'm gonna cook myself a pigs ear i'm gonna cook my own dinner Really not looking forward to the weather later.
especially if it hails don't like hail at the best of times but i've never experienced it in a tent could be great i could love it probably won't probably hate it i am glad to be here though i'm glad for the day that i've had i appreciate it so it's time to get some food on and on my last camping trip last week with a friend of mine um, my Jobsworth X2 stove once again went up in flame don't know why so it got melted to the point of being unusable so I've got my BRS 3000T today, little tiny titanium, oh, that wind's blowing in a bit isn't it, I can't put the camera outside because it is mizzling, is mizzling a word? So got the 3000T, BRS 3000T. Um, a brand new gas can as well and I'm using my until I can get something better which would be a titanium pot cheap little Euro hike two bit rubbishy kit it'll do the job all I need it for is to boil a little bit of water so as long as it can do that that's all I care about and I have forgot my windshield as well so that's annoying and what's more annoying is the fact that I know I'm hungry but I really can't be bothered to cook anything to be quite honest with you so I'm going to get this going it'll stay on I will stay on And hopefully I'll be boiling up enough water to have a coffee. Hopefully it won't take too long. So what have I got to eat today? Uh, in my blue bag, I've got a summit to eat chicken tikka with rice. I like the um, Wayfarer one, but I thought a little bit less weight from a dehydrated meal should do the job and of course I've got my titanium sport that I love so much also in my blue bag for my coffee I've got one of these um, Kenko Duo cappuccinos I've been really enjoying these and these have been getting me off my Costa Coffee habit so it's only going to cost a coffee twice a day every single day I now only go once every few days so that's the plan something to eat chicken tikka with rice duo cappuccino got myself a nice little collapsible cup now as well it's not the sea to summit one it's the cheap knockoff one that go outdoors had in but as long as it does the same job it doesn't need to be yellow does it uh, for breakfast, I've got my usual Rice Krispie Square. And for in a minute, after I've had my chicken tikka with rice, got a crunchy, a big hoops, big hula hoops pack. Looking forward to all of that. Temperature is getting down a bit now. So after I've eaten, hopefully my metabolism will kick in and my body will start generating heat. If not, I've got my down jacket and I've got my base layer that I can put on as well. I'm also going to be changing in some nice warm dry socks because these ones are a bit damp now from all this walking. Okay, so we've got coffee sorted and chicken tikka with rice seeds summit dehydrated meal rehydrated and fuck me 
because it looked like absolute shit. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, seriously, let's just turn that around a sec. Basically, it just looks like vomit. So anyway, yeah, this is dinner and Wayfair. I'll be honest with you, looking at it, I haven't tasted it yet, but looking at it, I think I prefer to carry the extra weight of a wet food that I can boil up. Smells great. Taste. Nope. The chicken is fucking rock hard, man. Thought I broke a bloody tooth then. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for a few more minutes, I think. Enjoy my coffee. Sit here and look at the view of the grey skies. Freeze my nuts off. Chill out. So I've pretty much lost the light now. Sun's gone down. Sunset was rubbish. As I expected it to be, there's too much cloud cover, too, too much dark cloud cover. Um, dinner was an absolute bust. The Seed Summit chicken tikka with rice that the, the, the chicken just would not rehydrate it was really rock hard and it really really put me off so in a little while I'm going to just munch down on my snacks and hopefully they'll see me through so on the whole have I had a great day? yes I have, it's been amazing I've, I've really enjoyed today I'm, I'm not looking forward to the night at all Um. Horses are pretty close. Not looking forward to the night at all. I'm a little bit annoyed because I've just taken my boots off and straight away I need to wee. So I'm going to have to put they back on again in a sec. Um, might have myself a little tent disco in a minute. But other than that, I'm pretty much done. I'm, I, I'm really, really tired. I'm going to eat, get warm, go for a wee. Probably go to sleep. So I've just spent the last five minutes looking for my Kit Kat and getting really stressed out and angry because I can't find my Kit Kat. I looked in my food bag for my Kit Kat, I looked in my rucksack for my Kit Kat, I looked in my coat pocket for my Kit Kat, looked under the dog for my Kit Kat. I didn't bring a Kit Kat. Brought a Crunchy. Dickhead. Good morning. The time is, oh, stupid o'clock. I ain't got a clue, let's have a look. It's just after six. I've been awake probably 10, 15 minutes. As you can hear, it's raining. Ooh. Ooh, crikey. And I had a really great night's sleep. I didn't wake up at all in the night, which is a first for me. Um, I think it's the first for me. So I bed down around midnight in the end. I jumped off of YouTube and all the other socials that I was doing at the time. And, oh, yeah, I slept right through until about 10 to 6 this morning. I was rudely awakened by this little bugger. Not because he was yelping in his sleep, having a dream, or because he was wanting to go for a wee, or anything like that. No, because the little bugger farted, and by God did it stink in this tiny tent. Oh, bless him. So yeah, that was that. Um, I don't know if you can hear the rain. It's let off quite a lot at the moment. Um, it's a light rain at the moment but when I woke up at 10 to 6 it was absolutely belting it down proper proper lashing 
uh, so I don't blame Dave in that he doesn't want to go out for a wee at the moment. So I'm probably going to have to pack up my tent, well, the contents of my tent, while I'm inside, and then learn how to take this tent down in a first from within. Which should be fun. Not had to do that yet. Gonna have to do it today. So let's take a look outside, shall we? But there we go, we can see stuff. Yes, to on the horizon. I think that is Shellstone Quarry, uh, Shellstone Tor. Over to my right, a bunch of sheep, Longstone Hill. And that's all you're getting because I'm getting wet and I don't want to get wet. So I opened up the tent just a moment ago because the rain has stopped. For a few minutes I thought I'd enjoy my coffee while eating my rice crispy bar and look out at the <coughs> view and as soon as I opened it up about a billion midges started flying in and it was like no 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 cover that shit up so well, I suppose I could open it up and have a view. Despite the, the lack of rain, I think I'm not gonna bother. Dave's down here, he's had enough, I think. He's desperate to go to the toilet, but doesn't want to go out in the rain. And even though it's stopped now, I can't convince him to go out there. So he's just lying here occasionally shaking and vibrating. I've made my coffee this morning with another one of these Kenko Duo Cappuccino pots, another midgy. Um, but I've used the, the water from my water bladder, a little bit that remains, and it tastes like ass. It is a seriously bad, bad coffee. But it's hot, it's warm, it's sweet. It tastes like crap, but it'll do, I suppose. I'm glad that the rain's let up for a little bit. I'm hoping in a minute I'll be able to get changed and then just get on with packing up before the next downpour arrives. But I'm not counting on it. I'm still going to pack up as much as I can inside the tent and then see how it goes. All packed up. Luckily I didn't have to pack up the inner first so that made life somewhat easier. And surprisingly I managed to get my Trichology UL 140 super thick air mattress with the pointless pump uh, all packed up inside the tent. A miracle. First time I've managed to do that. Um, I found the leak on my bag. On my bladder, sorry. It's just here. Where are we? See it every now and again just dripping away. I'm not sure it's actually coming from this spot though. I think it's running down somewhere and collecting. It might even be there. Oh, wrong way. Right, tighty, lefty, loosey. I don't know. Got rid of my backpack. Leave no trace. I'd like to say I've left a dry patch on the ground, but I don't think I have. It was already wet when I got here. So that's it. So I'm going to say goodbye to Yes Tour up there on the horizon. And over here, I'm going to say, where are we? Hello, good morning to Shellstone Tour. 
I hope that's what it is. I keep calling it that. I keep forgetting to look it up on the map. I'm going to come back there one day. I'm going to come across these hills in front of us. They look quite interesting. So for now, I'm going to head back up here around the base of Longstone Hill and head back down to Meldon Dam and across into the car park. I'm going to head off home. Dave's having a clean. You alright mate? So as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, thumbs down. By all means, please leave a comment in the, in the comments box below and go and hit that subscribe button. I really enjoy it when you do that. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And until the next time, that's me. That's Dave. That's my bag. And back there is Yes Tour. Cheers for now.